All right, guys, we are walking now with the Galaxy Note 9 and uh, the Pixel 3 XL. Sorry, forgot. Um, using the front facing camera to start off this video. And you're gonna see how they both handle. I'm free holding them, so my hands are holding it. So you see which one's actually shaking more and all that fun stuff. Now also, you will, also, you will get to uh, hear sounds from each of the microphones and you see how the uh, audio handles. I'm just gonna kind of put this in the center so I can look straight down and see. Now I'm shooting off the wide angle lens on the pixel so I can get closer and you can see that. But when I get closer here, it's kind of like in my face. So if I move right back, you can see, boom, you get the idea. Now in terms of pictures, I think the Galaxy Note 9 looks a little bit more accurate. Uh, the pixel is trying to be a little bit saturated. I don't know, we'll see. But let's go ahead and flip it to the back. All right, guys, here we are out in New York City recording with both the Pixel 3 XL and the Galaxy Note 9. Uh, this is the rear camera, which is shooting in 4K 30 because the Pixel 3 XL does not do 4K 60. Uh, so you're going to be hearing audio from each of these devices. I wanted to give you a realistic street sound setting where you get all that noise, all that fun jazz in there, and also see how it actually shakes all the way through. So we're in the Gansevoort area, Meatpacking District, walking through some shaded areas and not. Again, this is 4K 30, um, and you should get a good idea of how it picks up sound, also how it does in daylight. We'll do some nighttime video as well for you so you get a good, good, good glimpse of what nighttime is all about. And I think it should be quite uh, quite good, except my laces off. So right now, it's that building there, super blue uh, colors, and then we move up <sighs> towards One Wall Trade, uh, which is around the corner. But you get the general idea. Now a lot of people are doing, of course, videos that are photo base which is nice but you know you also record off your smartphones so how well does the EIS OIS all that fun stuff handle uh, for these devices this is of course where ground zero is and one wall trade is right around the corner so you guys have seen the clips front facing camera rear camera daytime nighttime the clear winner here is the Galaxy Note 9 it looks like, uh, just like the Pixel 2, Google has not improved the video quality. Uh, they've done a good job with photos, and you've seen in many videos and even some of the photos I've posted, but when it comes to video and video recording, I don't think it's up to par yet. The Galaxy Note 9 was better in every single category we tried out. Again, this is not a scientific test. I was just holding two phones with my hands. I wasn't actually doing anything else like using a gimbal. I didn't use the, uh, the manual mode or the pro mode for the Galaxy Dot 9 and I also did not change the exposure. I kept it that way as I saw it. So that is what you get. You clearly see the Galaxy Note 9 had a better microphone in picking up audio, sounded cleaner, clearer, even though it was honking and sounds around. Plus the video quality was really sharp. Uh, also looked more true to life compared to the Pixel 3 XL, which had a microphone that sounded really tinny in sound, very tin sound, if you will. Uh, and also the video quality, I tried to either overexpose some of the images or some of the, the scenery I, I had there. So there you have it guys. If you have any questions or any comments, or you think the Pixel 3 is better, leave your thoughts down below. If you agree with me, also leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to do more videos like this, let me know. Uh, this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.